In this video, we'll be reviewing how to manage your users in the classic view of Autodesk account. We'll walk through all the details about getting your users up and running quickly for both subscriptions with single and multi-user access. So go ahead and sign in here. After doing so, make sure to go to Management and then click Users. To add a user, click here. And you have the choice to enter users one by one or in bulk. To add one user at a time, type in the person's email address, first name, and last name, and you can add another user here and save and continue here. For bulk add, type in the user's information in this blank box using the format first name, comma, last name, comma, email address. Separate multiple users with a semicolon and then press save and continue. You have the flexibility to control your users how you see fit. As you see here, a group of people like interns can easily be added in bulk while a single new employee could easily be added and add users, like we saw earlier. The added users will get an email that looks like this, which will prompt them to accept your invite. New users can set up their account right then and there. Existing users will get a notification that they have instant access to new products to avoid any downtime. If you want to find a certain user in a long list of items, you can use this search box here to find who or what you need. This capability allows you to make changes to users' access without having to scroll through a long list. You can search by first name, last name, or email address. Just start typing, and your account will start searching for you. Now I'll show you how to assign a user access to products, services, and benefits. Click Edit Access of the user that you want to assign permissions to. To assign Gayatri permissions in a single user license, click the product you want to assign her to, and then click Assign. From here, you can edit which services you want her to have, like cloud storage right here. Benefits, like support, can be assigned separately right over here. After you finish, go on down and click Save. Multi-user licenses work a little differently. Let's say you want to assign CAD permissions in a multi-user license. Unlike single-user licenses, CAD does not need to be assigned desktop access to products to start using them. Here's where you have the flexibility to control which services and benefits you want CAD to have. Click here to edit all the services and here to edit benefits. No matter what license you're administering, you have the control to grant users permissions you want them to have. To delete a user, just scroll over this symbol right here. This is useful if, for example, you have an employee that just left the company. You can delete them right here and another seat becomes available. For those of you who have purchased from the Autodesk store and channel partners, you have the capability to toggle views here. New View is where you will manage subscriptions purchased through the Autodesk store. And that's about it. Managing users is that simple. For more information, visit autodesk.com slash get started.